Sky Limits welcome you all to the target city at July 2023. So we'll start our first new session with the child pedagogy of LP and UP date. So in this first new session, we'll be targeting the last year questions. Content will be truly analyzed, plus clear explanation of each and every chapter, and MCQ daily practice, yes, for boosting our confidence, plus pedagogy related question on each subjects that will be the child pedagogy, English, social science and environmental science will be truly analyzed in this first new session. So we'll start our questions. Okay, so the first chapter is concept of development and its relationship with the learning. So this is the first chapter of child pedagogy. So we'll see our questions. Question number one. Child-centered pedagogy means this question came in the last 2016. Now what is the question? The child-centered pedagogy. What is the meaning of the pedagogy? The pedagogy simply means the method and the techniques which we apply in the teaching learning process. So here if we put together child-centered pedagogy that means the method and techniques will be applied for the convenience learning of the child. Okay. For the convenience learning of the child. So what will be the correct option here? The correct option will be giving primacy to the children experience and their voice will be the correct option because here we'll be using these methods and techniques for the convenience of child's learning. How the child will learn in a convenience or in an easy way. Next question. Next question is what is the meaning of the word called growth? Okay. Now growth simply means a measurement. Now if we apply this growth in terms of the child, then we can say growth here in terms of child, it talks about a pure physical sense. So now let's assume this is a child and what are the things then can be measured in a child? Number one, a child height can be measured plus number two, a child weight can be measured. So if we see overall of this, this that means we can say the growth of the, the growth here, it may talks about the quantitative okay the growth talks about a quantitative number two the growth stops the growth is not a lifelong process okay we can say the growth is not a is not a lifelong process because why because the growth stop after its maturations after maturation let's take examples a growth of a boy stops at the age of 21 or it stops at the age of 25 but does not continue throughout the life okay so it depends according to its heredity according to its genes so but it does not continue the through all the lights okay so now these are the options chance related to the result chance related to measurement all of this or none of this so what will be right answer the right answer is the chance related to the measurement so simple so growth talks about the measurements okay simple okay next question what is, which of the following of development is correct now in earlier question we have seen about the growth now here we are getting the development development okay we can say growth and development are the two sides of a one coin okay two sides of the one coin both both go hand in hand together but one thing we can see is that development is a lifelong process it continues throughout the life it continues throughout the life now, it can be number two. Growth development is a quality, qualitative, or we can say qualitative. Okay, it talks about the qualities. Number three, development cannot be measured. Development cannot be measured. Okay, development cannot be measured. So these are some of the characteristics. Number one, what we see, the growth development continues throughout the life, and it's a qualitative. That means it talks about the quality and it cannot be measured. Now here we'll see the options. The rate of development differs from individual to individual. Yes, correct. The rate of development differs from individual to individuals. Some child grow faster. Okay, let's take example of the boys and the girls. Now we assume we know that the girls used to grow faster during the childhood periods. Okay, or their, their brain used to be more faster, their maturation used to be more faster than the boys. Yes, so here is a simple example. The rate of development differs from individual to individuals. 
the rate of development differs at each stage of the individuals. Let's take example, there are two boys in the class 6. So, these two of the boys, they their maturation levels or understanding levels will not be same though they are in the same class. Okay, so that means it differs at a stage of the development. Okay, development is a continuous process. Yes, this is also the correct. Development is a continuous process. It continues the through all of the life. Okay, so what will be the right answer? The right answer will be the ever all. All of the ever will be right answer. So we'll see. Rate of the development differs from individual to individual. Correct. The rate of the development differs at the stage of individual. Correct. Development is a continuous process. Correct. All of the above will be the correct answer. Okay, our next question. What are the factors affecting emotional development? So, in, by emotion, we can simply say emotion is and feeling. Okay, emotion is and feelings. Now, if we see the examples of emotions, let's take an example here. We have the anger, hyper, yes depression anxiety happiness these are the some of the examples of the emotions now what is the question asking what are the factors that affect emotional development number one is the physical health yes physical health plays an important role in the emotional development number one if we say if the child physically weak that means it will affect or hamper in the development of the emotions of the child okay mental abilities mental abilities if we see a here if the child his mental age does not develop as part of sequence take an example according to their age if the child mental age does not develop it will automatically hamper in the emotion of the child emotional development of the child now fatigue when we do overwork okay we our energies go lower so this is example of the fatigue Yes, so if we see here, what are the factors affecting emotional development? Physical health, yes. Mental ability, cell, it affects fatigue also. It affects the emotional development. That means the right answer will be all of this will be right answer. Yes, the right answer is the all of this. Next question. Development is a sequential and a slow process. As we have learned in the development, yes. Who among the following thinkers is associated with the thoughts? Who said this statement? We know that development is a sequential and a slow process and is a lifelong process. Now, what is the options? Maslow, Skinner, Aristotle, and Lebowski. So, what will be the right answer? The right answer will be the Skinner will be the right answers. So, today we'll do only up to question number five. From tomorrow, we'll start the continuous series of the class, regular classes. Thank you for joining with me. Have a nice day. Keep learning, keep subscribing, and we'll learn the continuous sequence of each and every chapter. We'll start from tomorrow. Thank you.